you guys, I'm going to do a walkthrough of Class Craft. This is after you have already created your um, character and um, you, you're you ready to start. So you should be on a screen like this and you've got to start your intro quest. Um, and that's just where you learn how to play the game. So you just click on it. Um, it says start your adventure. Learn how to play and become an epic hero in the world of Classcraft. I don't know if the videos will work because it says it's with YouTube, so we're just going to start quest um, <clears throat> for new beginners, and you just follow along. Um, a sand sinks beneath your feet as you step from the ship onto Elda Island. Overhead birds dovetail. Okay, you just, you just continue to read the story. Um, and then you click and you read it and you continue and your task is complete and you do time of need, you read it you continue and you task complete now I, while I am not reading all of this in my video I do want you guys reading it because it will help you understand the story I have already read the story so I'm not going to sit here it will make the video a lot longer if I read it to you um, but it's, it's, you know, I, I would like for you guys to read it. <clears throat> you continue, task complete, and so basically you're going to have these little checkpoints and tasks to complete. Um, and I'm going to walk you through the first group of my tasks as soon as we get finished with this. But it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so you're done, you've completed the task, and now it takes you to our map. Now our map starts here, a quest for understanding. These other things here, you're welcome to work on and play with, but I'm not stressing these over here. I'm specifically looking at a quest for understanding. That's what, um, uh, on Canvas, there's going to be a calendar of sort of like, this is what you should be doing and when you should be doing it kind of thing. Um, so, but this is the quest for understanding, and it goes right along with our novel, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. And so it says, you have entered the realm of understanding, a world where you will have to prove you have conquered the knowledge within the book you are currently reading. Tread carefully and be mindful of the wise wizard, a mysterious figure who must challenge all who enter his realm. Alright, so you're going to start your quest. Um, so the first, that was the introduction, so the first thing is chapters 1 through 3. Now, for, uh, for me, for me, uh, this is the same set of chapters 1 through 3 that I've already done, um, with uh, the last couple of weeks of work. This was the first set of PowerPoints that I sent out. If I've already done it. I'm finished. That's great. So, um, you must answer the questions correctly to get through the chapters. Having the book handy will give you an advantage. So you hit continue. The task, it says, complete the PowerPoint below to demonstrate understanding of chapter 1 through 3. If I have not already downloaded that chapter, uh, PowerPoint, that's what I would do. I would click on it. It opens up at some point. I'm going to enable editing, and it's the exact same PowerPoint, except I took out some of the slides. I took out all the videos. I took out the section where you have um, the, about the author kind of thing. Um, so, it, it's again, it's just the same PowerPoint. It's just a, a few less slides. So, I'm going to read the chapters one through three and complete it and submit it. If you've already done that, you are good to go. So you will go to your assignment, you will click a file, you will find your file, you will open it up, and I want you to comment on the assignment. Um, tell me what you, you know, just, just comment about what you learned or, or how you like those chapters. I'd like a summary of the chapters in a, in a sense um, about 
like what you read or, or what you took from those chapters. And then you just hit submit. And then I will get a ding on my phone that says a student completed an objective. Um, and let's see, it, yep, it tells me that I've got several students that have already started, and that is great. So you hit submit, um, and you're done with that one. So <clears throat> you exit out of this, and it's opened up a new chapter for you. And you click, and you continue to do the exact same thing. Now, there are points that after you get to, it'll say test. And because our district does not allow the use of Google Forms for some reason, I could not link the test directly to this. So your tests are still on Canvas. So you will still have to go back to Canvas. And I have not uploaded those yet because I didn't want people freaking out at the number of tests that are available. So um, I am going to make one test available a day or at a time. There are, I believe, four different tests to complete. Now, this is it for me. I am not assigning any other work. It is strictly that you read the book and you complete these assignments. And that is the only work you will have from Miss Vaughn. I'm not going to be doing read works. I'm not going to be doing uh, Khan Academy. I'm not going to be doing grammar right now. I just want to get us through to April 30th and get us as much of this book done as possible in the hopes that when we get back to school we'll have a month left to sort of just digest and and, and um, be done. So I, I, I really just want you focused on reading this book. Okay. If you have any questions with how to submit or complete an assignment, please let me know. Um, and please check YouTube because I do have videos where I've read the book or I'm going over the chapters or a number of different things that you might need help with.